And we are back with Low Country Lifestyles. And if you are looking for something fun to do this summer and you love art, you might want to go to the Franklin G. Burroughs Simeon B. Chapin Art yes. Museum in Myrtle Beach. I love that museum, and it's the longest name in history, but the Burroughs and Chapin Museum <laughs> has some wonderful things, some neat exhibits and programs going on this summer. So I have Miss Casey Church, and she is the service coordinator, yes. museum service coordinator for Burroughs and Chapin, and she's going to talk to us about some of the wonderful events that they have going on. Yes, so am. thank you so much for coming to for play helping. with us today. Now, as you know, I make my living as an artist, Casey, so I am always wanting people to know that there are artistic things to do in this area, and Burroughs and Chapin is one of the places to go. Absolutely. So let's talk about this uh, Southern uh, Folk Art Show, first of all, because that's going to be up for a long time. It is. Um, it's currently up now. It's been up for a couple of weeks now, and it's um, 100 pieces of Southern Folk Art from um, a couple's private collection. Oh, wow. It's a couple from North Carolina, Anne and Ted Oliver, and they, we graciously put together this exhibit from their from their own collection. And it's just a minuscule piece of it, and just the amount wow. of things that they have is just amazing. Good gracious. Yes. Well, I know that there are a lot of people in this area that collect folk art and absolutely love Southern folk art. So if you are a lover of Southern folk art, please go and check that out. Absolutely. Also, you all do the most awesome family day uh, events. So yes. tell us about your family day. We have three of them um, a year, and this year we are doing something a little bit different with okay. a summer exhibit that we have coming up, which I'll talk about a little bit later. Um, but the the idea around this is kind of to celebrate art and reading. So what we'll have is we'll have some celebrity readers, locals like yourself. Yes. <laughs> and we'll also have some other activities, um, the music, storytelling, okay. we'll have an interactive storyteller. Um, it's going to be the 80th year of Babar, which has something to yes. do with our exhibit, which is why we're doing something a little different. So we'll have so, sort of like a little birthday gift for him with cookie decoration, things Aww. of that nature. But there's also going to be adult workshops, okay. for, um, kids workshops. Um, we have great sponsors that have come out, so we're having a little, uh, food tastings of different kinds of things. Oh, wow. So there's going to be a lot to do, and it's free. It's from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Uh -huh. on Saturday, June 11th. Okay. So now I really am excited about the Babar the Elephant yes. exhibit. Here. Um, that was one of my most favorite uh, book series growing mm -hmm. up, and I love the book Where the Wild Things Are, too. I yes. love those two books. <laughs> I loved all the Babar books. <laughs> and so you all are doing, y'all going full out we are. for Babar we're and the Book. So you're decorating and mm -hmm. having all these beautiful scenes and stuff. So tell everybody yes. about that. There's six galleries on the first floor of the museum, and, and all the original drawings from Babar's World Tour will take up all those six galleries. Wow. But within the World Tour, they obviously visit different countries. Okay. Um, so you'll first step in to an installation of um, Babar's private plane, which is Elephant One. Yeah. And then as you move through the galleries, the reception room, and the tea porch, you go through different cu cultures. You know, you learn how to dance different dances, wow. um, learn different languages, you can sit on the Italian cafe, and then to top it all off, you um, stop at the post office and get to make your own postcard, and we will mail it to you wherever you want. Are you kidding? Yeah, so it's it's like you were in Myrtle Beach, you went on a trip, but then you went on a trip somewhere else. Oh, wow. Yeah. So now if you have children or grandchildren, nieces, people coming down, please come by and, um, and take advantage of this, and as Casey said, they are having, I don't know about the celebrity part of it but you all are having guest <laughs> readers come out and she did graciously ask, ask me to come out yes. and read my favorite Babar book so I have to really look through them now and, and see which one is my favorite and even if you don't have little ones if you're just nostalgic mm -hmm. for the book series and just remember that growing up come out and enjoy the family day the southern uh, folk art show just come and visit the museum and see all of the things that they have planned for this summer so, uh, Casey, if people want to get in contact with you and find out about what's going on, how would they do that? Um, they can go on our website, which okay. is MyrtleBeachArtMuseum.org. Okay. Um, and we always have that up to date. The schedule for the family day will be up there. Um, and they can always, of course, call us, which is 843-238-2510. Casey, thank you so thank much. You. And thank you for asking me to be a part of your oh, celebration. It's very thank you all for joining us, and we will be with you next week.